511.99. All right, time for a 400. Let's do, do it. it. That was a very rough car ride and very tight, so. <laughs> <coughs> yep, that, we're, we're just gonna leave it at that. So. Right now we're struggling to find our way into the stadium, but I think we're on the wrong corner. That's faster than I thought you'd get. Same. I'll take that. Yeah, it's that permanent fitness. <laughs> yeah, it's all the tapering I've done the past <laughs> couple months. Yeah. Been carb loading since January. All for this one Have, day. Yeah, time to rest for a couple months. Yeah. Jewels here, highlights of my life in running. 100K. This was a really good race, one of my favorites. Ice Age 50 Mile, probably my favorite race of all time. I've done this one two times now. Um, I ran this in 2016. I'm actually the youngest person to ever finish the Ice Age 50 Mile, and I know that because I had to lie about my age to get into this race. You have to be 18, I was 17, I lied about my birthday, and the day after this race, I graduated high school. This is some of the early days. Oh wow. We got, I think this is my second 5K ever. Third race ever, I ran a time of 36 minutes. How old were you at these races? This was 2009, so this was the first year I started running. I was 11 years old. Ran my first ever half marathon. Now this was an age group medal. I was 14 years old for this half marathon. I ran two hours and two minutes. And my favorite part about races at this age was that if you finished, you pretty much by default got an age group award because there's no other 14 year olds running half marathons. And when you were getting into running, what were your goals? Like what were you thinking? Was I didn't really have too many, like I was fifth, I was in fifth grade when I started, and I started because my mom was a runner and I wanted to just do something in common with her. I knew about these races. I knew I wanted to do, do one someday, but you know, it was always, it's really hard building up as you know, as any runner knows. You know, I didn't really have too many goals to begin with. Yeah, were you out there having fun as a kid though on these yeah. races? Yeah, I think so. It was something where, I don't know what kept me going at the start. I just liked the races and you know, some of that might've been selfish reasons. Cause you know, like you get a shirt, you get a bib, it's cool. Your mom's proud of you. But like eventually, you know, as you mature, you realize that you get a lot more out of running than that. And I think that's kind of what stuck and just working towards goals, seeing progress, quantifying that progress really sticks with you. Yeah. When did um, ultra marathons enter the scene for you? Ultra marathons entered the scene. So, I ran this marathon, Prairie State Marathon. This is my first ever marathon. I was 15 years old, four hours and 52 minutes. And then I was training for my second marathon, which is gonna be the following spring. And it just didn't really have that same sort of draw as like your first ever marathon, you know? So it, it just didn't feel the same. And I don't remember how exactly I stumbled on ultra marathons, but I found a 50 miler in Devil's Lake, Wisconsin and ended up running that. I got last place. It was a 13 hour cutoff and I finished in 12 hours and 57 minutes. Mile Ultra. This is where it started it all. 
And how old were you then? 16? I was 17. 17. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So did you do 250 miles that first year? Yeah. So right after I ran this 50 mile, I really caught the ultra bug. And I don't know if it's going to be in here, but I really wanted to. Yeah, it is in here. I really wanted to run 100 mile before the season ended. So I ran another 50 mile that that fall. And then in November of my first year of ultra running, so this was four months after my very first ultra marathon, I ran the T-Bunk 100 mile. I was 17 years old. It took me 28 hours and 50 minutes. But I was I finished and yeah, I'm very proud of that. This was actually the only 100 mile that I've ever finished. I've actually dropped out of one and dropped down a distance in another. And I think in a way, it being my first 100 mile in two, back in 2015 made it easier because I was out there to prove something. And you know, this might have been immaturity. I was just kind of a kid at the time and just wanting to show myself and show everyone else that I can do it. But when you start your second or third 100 mile, like you know you can do it. So then you have to find motivation from elsewhere. Like you've done this before. You don't have to necessarily prove yourself again. And I think there are times, my second 100 mile attempt when I was 18, and my third was also when I was 18, there are times when you have to look deeper in yourself. And I don't know if I necessarily had that ability that young. So it's something I've kind of been waiting on to try again. I know my time will come again, but for now I'm content with where I'm at.